Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm located in South Moravia and to be to precise, I am in Valchitsa. <laughs> South Moravia guys is known for its wine production. So I'm going now to go do a bit of wine tasting. Come along with us, let's go. All right, to my right is a really, seems like a nice restaurant here with nice seating area outside. It looks like they have a, a, back, a back garden as well in the back where you can sit and have your drinks. So let's go. They have a castle straight ahead as well. I'm going to show you when we get closer. So this is the surrounding area, what it looks like where I am now. Have a look. Yeah, this is a church. That looks like a small restaurant. Aha, uh -huh, and they have a small restaurant here as well. They're playing some nice calm, like a piano I can hear here. Someone's playing some music. Do you want to have a look straight ahead what's around the back? Yeah, I think we should because yeah. there's a Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so this is like the, the side of the church, right? Or either the yeah. back. All right, this is the front. And here's like a, a Namiesti here, isn't it? A yeah, square. Yeah, like Namiesti. Yeah. Square. They have some fountain there. Yeah, they have a fountain. They have some statues. And here's the church. Here. Do you understand that writing at the top? It's like a old old latin writing it seems like should we have a look at the square and surrounding shots so here is like the the square here okay and there's a museum to the left and they have the the check flag on the top there is also a statue here but it looks like it's under reconstruction let's have a closer look got like scaffoldings and a ladder going up it so seems to be that it is under construction at the moment right so they just have like tourist information here up on the top Mu museum information as well yes, they have a lot information of about the vine the wine right up uh, there academy, wine academy wine academy and they have a cafe here across the road yeah. as well it looks like they have a lot of small cafes yeah and this is like the center of the square where i'm at now should we go straight through and see what it looks like here so this is cafe hostina right mm -hmm. this is the front entrance So here is just like some general information about like events that are going on within this area. I am thirsty though, I would like to go get some wine. <laughs> Being as this is why we came here, right? <laughs> oh, it's really, looks like a beautiful garden here, I must say nice nice flowers here nice plants they have a fountain to my left they're yeah, also a, playing some music here there's a speaker outside like outdoor, right? yeah it just seems like some outdoor seating area where you can just sit down maybe be on your laptop have a drink have a snack get some food 
and this is what the outside of the building looks like all right so we have just came across now like a wine gallery here But this is not the one we originally intended to come to, right? To show them. We're just having a browse around, a look at the surrounding area, then we're going to make our way. Okay, so here it says Vino Teca at the top. And here is like some information, an information board on the wine that they have here on the gallery inside some historical buildings and here is the information on like what they have here so they have like bicycle store castle theater castle tap chapel a winter riding hall they have an honorable courtyard a herb garden they also do fast food here they have a coffee shop a wine shop wow really interesting this place seems like a really good place here to come in czech republic in south moravia if you're interested in wine and the wine tasting this seems to be like the place to be at this moment so what is the plan we're just gonna have a browse around yeah we're just gonna have a browse around we'll have a look at this monument here So here is like a police station with three departments in one. They have a police police office here inside and they also have an office, right? Inside there. And what is the other one? Uh, Knihovna. Knihovna. Book. How you call, uh, library. A library. library. And Mieski Ushad is where it's like the head office people. Yeah, like a so like a police station, head office, and um, library, and a one. library in one. Yeah. Because it's a small town, they usually have um, everything in one. There it is. Okay, and here are some more tourist informations. This is a town where we are in now, and it seems like a very touristic town here because it's south moravia is close to the borders of austria so i can imagine people from different areas locations across czech republic would come here to this place right because there's a lot of tourist attractions yeah, here yeah. yeah i think even the austrian people yeah even the austrian people must come here as well it's not just the locals i would say come to visit this place and here looks like a peaceful seating area if you want to sit down and relax taking the atmosphere here's a fountain here as well in the middle the center let's have a look inside the church you guys come have a look wow really nice like interior inside like it's got really nice decorations seems like an old historical church the paintings here on the wall going around as well a really nice like chandelier light bulb and the altar it's got like a gold altar at the front it's got candles there nice wooden wooden chairs to sit down on in this church Wow, look at the roof. Wow, they're playing the music now. Oh, so this is the name, yeah, of the, the church, Costa. Big wooden, wooden doors as well. 
All right, you lot. So to my left is a Ubi Tovani Uzamku bed and breakfast. That is. I'm really looking forward to this. Really looking forward to it. And I guess we're we're in the right place, South Moravia, to do a bit of wine tasting to go and get the first-hand experience here. So I'm really hoping there will be a guide there that will give us a tour and tell us the different names about the wine and we can you know just know more about the history of the wine that we're drinking otherwise we'll just have to tell you ourselves and give you our own review which would be great as well so let's go and we will take you along with us right it's really hot up here in south moravia isn't it <laughs> it's quite hot but you know what today is not so bad because it's a little bit breezy it's wind so here is like more restaurants mm -hmm. and here's the back of the museum showed you the front already the the here's the back of the church so we are just making our way now straight ahead is the chateau where we are making our way to now here's a pension pension right Vartitsa pension it's got a really nice vibe here atmosphere it's so beautiful yeah it's so beautiful. here's some more like directions and information up here Like from fairy tale. Wow, it really does. Beautiful chateau. Really nice. Have a look. And it looks so clean here. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the floor and the environment, everything just looks like well kept and looked uh -huh. after. Right, just making our way up the stairs now. Ooh. Somebody, give a hat. somebody put a hat up there on the, the monument two big very big monuments here We've got some dogs with like it's looks like a head, it? yeah it's got three heads this dog Have a look. yeah it's look like it looks like an ancient god or some warrior. yeah warrior something like that yeah and this one has like a dragon coming down its back so let's have a look at the main structure at the front of the building and it's really nice doesn't it yeah, it's so wow so this is the front like even though it's so old it yeah so well it does I think it's just this wall needs fixing otherwise that wall on the opposite side it looks like so they have like stuff here for kids which you can purchase really nice place this looks like really nice touristic place place wait what did you say we can do we can record it inside yeah let's record inside and, and then, then we'll make our way to the wine yeah because i think the wine is there yeah do a bit of wine tasting i'm looking forward to it are you yeah let's go. <laughs> all right look at this here in the middle like a small mount um water fountain I think there's Oh wow, look at the buildings here. Do you think there's a real gold on the top? I think the it eagles. is real gold, yes. The eagles and everything? Yes. I very much think it is real gold because they have like a protection cover on it as well at the front. Can you see? the um it's got like a mesh like protecting it maybe from like pigeons going on there or anything like that yeah. and it looks really shiny as well you see the gold. gold yeah it That's is real gold comments. look really shiny let's make our way in now they have a uh, they have a check flag there and this one here is italian italian flag oh. all right let's go in 
can hear some music. Like what's going on? Yeah, you can hear music. UNESCO, because this sheet belongs to UNESCO Heritage. Okay. So this is like the Zamek here, yeah? the, the castle. Yeah. Because um, Zamek is castle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like it, it seems like there is coffees everywhere, like a small little coffee shop where you can get wine. Yeah. Look at the um, beautiful flowers here. It really, like brings a nice atmosphere to the, the environment, doesn't it? Nice as well. Yeah. And they have a palm tree here. Do you know why they can have a palm tree in this place? Because it's not so hot yeah, like the rest Because of it's Czech. really hot. South Moravia like is known for producing wine. Yeah. So it has to be really hot for it to be able to produce wine here and also to grow such plants like palm trees, right? And it's not going too much to the miners in the winter. Yeah, That's check cool. out these flowers. Mm. <laughs> so we're going straight through the back now. Yeah. Nice to get a cold beer up here as well, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the front of the building. Yeah, of course I want wine as well. So this is the park, oh. the Zamitsky Park. park. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, can do a bit of horse riding. Yeah, I can do yeah. Where, the horse is where? Yeah. Do you think we can go on the horses? Um, that would be great, have a tour on the horses. Yeah, I don't know if it's for groups or for individuals. Ah, do you think we'd have to book it? That would be really interesting to find out. That would be great stuff. There's a horse coming by. Wow. Let's go. So what's our plan now to get some, some wine, yeah? I would rather get wine. Let's then. go get some wine then. Horse. What way should we go? Back that way? Yeah. Wow, let's have a look closer look at the horse though. Yeah. Yeah, we'd have to wait for the horses because we need to get closer to the map. Wow. Look at the horse. All of the garden. Oh, careful. <laughs> yeah. Never mind, let's go the back the let's way we came from, yeah. Then. Big strong horse. <laughs> so I guess this is what the balcony where the royal people used to stand on and look at the balcony. Yeah, the balcony at the top, I guess. Like the royal king or queen here of this castle would have its like view on the garden here and they would have the horses, I guess, around in this area here. As you see, there's a horse here giving the um, people the tour around the area. It seems like we came to the right place. <laughs> Best wine in town. Awesome, right? <laughs> Best wine in town. We are in the right place for sure. <laughs> this is like a gallery, isn't it? Wine gallery, paintings. Got some tourists attractions here to magnets. buy magnets. Oops! Don't break, break the thing. <laughs> wow! 
this is like some old wine. <laughs> yeah, Bramborki. <laughs> you gotta have wine and Bramborki. <laughs> it's a good combination, isn't it? Yeah. Be done. Yeah, and they have a wine collection here as well. I'm in a wine gallery here in Valtice and could you like give me a little tour on the wine and to give me a little bit of history what is the say the oldest wine here that mm. you have or something please sure thank you all these wines you can see are made here in Valtice okay different producers for example Moravino or Vino Bolo from Yuzhi uh, Kopecek which is uh, the former principal of Valtice uh, wine school okay as well here. Then we have a winery Pocháček as well from Valtice, Procházka from Valtice and Chateau Valtice, which is mm -hmm. wine made here on Chateau Valtice. Okay. And are they similar in taste? Oh, it depends on the kind of wine because we have so many kinds of wine. Uh, for example, here is Riesling or Sylvan. So it depends on which kind of wine you want. And I can see they they pretty they have a really good price considering it's like a good quality of course. wine. I can see the prices are not overpriced here. So do you have like a, a tasting a testing mm. wine where I can try anything like that here? Uh, yes, we have seven kinds of wine which you can taste. Oh great. Uh, I can show you. And how old is this castle by the way? This This castle? This yeah. castle was made in 14th century. 14th century. Chateau, and before it was a castle like a, a burg in German. Okay. Which means it was fortified for defense of the border, which is where we are here on the border with, between Austria, Austria and Austria. Yes. So he was a border castle. Then in the 14th century came the Liechtenstein family and they made a chateau, a castle back where they can live. And they lived here till 20th century when they moved back to the Liechtenstein. Wow. That is so awesome. Interesting. I would like to try some wine, please. Sure. Which one? These ones here. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want white wine, red wine? So these are the different wines that you have here, right? So what one would you recommend? Is like mm. people usually come here. I and think I would try. recommend the Riesling Green Ski, uh, which is sour white wine. Okay. Uh, it has certificate of VOC, which means it's a wine made here in Valtice on the vineyard in Valtice and the company must be from Valtice so it's definitely great I'll give that wine. can I try it we have would you like to share or we'll have one each um, we'll share I think we can share we'll please. share one share please one. yeah right. what is the most popular wine here in Valtice mm, most popular mm. I think that most popular is as well as the green ski because so many products made here and the best one I think is the resin green ski from Mr. Popacek so many people recommend it. So, so many people rec- Ah, oh, you have Parlover as well. Wow. Interesting place here. And I can see that you have like certificate here, right? That's how you know we are in the wine place. As we entered this place, I knew that we was hit in the right place, guys. I'm telling you. The best wine in town. And they have some photographs on the wall of like actor, a winemaker here. Wow. Here is the wine. Thank you very much. Welcome. So this wine is the Riesling, Riesling, Riesling Chateau Valtice. Chateau Valtice. So you won't pay my cash or my card. I will pay my I will pay my card. Great. Here again it's 100 pounds. Thank, Thank you very much. 
Does it get busy in here? Like loads of tourists come here to try. It depends. It depends. During summer, it's uh, very popular. Okay. So many tourists came here. But uh, during May or uh, September. Only during the weekends. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. And I guess as many Austrian people come in here. So many Austrians. Mm -hmm. I think uh, maybe 50% of tourists here are from Austria or Germany. Can mm -hmm. I? Um, are these? Sure, you can take them. Out. Mm -hmm. So it tastes the fine. Yeah, we'll taste it. Let us know how it tastes. Give it a look. And smell it. <laughs> this isn't your average wine, by the way, guys. I'm having wine in South Moravia. No, for wine Made production, right. Mm -hmm. It's very, tastes very like natural. It doesn't taste too sweet. It's really nice. It's refreshing as well. Excuse it. Do you have palava as well? to try. Uh, Palava? Yeah, sure, Palava. but Palava, I don't think so not for... Today. Not today. today. Not on today's menu. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, Only full bottle. What do you think? Nice? Very, like, smooth. It's very smooth and it's cold. Uh, and... Uh, let me think. Uh, we have a cuvee, which is made, made from Palava and uh, Kerner. Yeah, we got to try one more. We can't just come here and try one glass of wine. Yeah. We have to try at least one more, yeah. Sure. We'll this try... one is much more sweeter than this, this uh, glass, so okay. I think I will recommend it for you. So when we finish this yeah, one? Yeah, we'll, we'll try one more, yeah, for sure. And I see some like famous people of the, the area. Would you like sure. to...? Yes, uh, exhibition of... Uh, Wine, wine openers, okay. famous Czech people, for example, Czech president Milo Zeman. He was here he, and he gave us this wine opener. Oh, wow. So this is like the president of Czech Republic, yeah. Zeman. No, Czech yes. And he, he was here in his self, in person. Yeah, he was here there. And he brought this wine opener. Yes. How long ago was this? Excuse me? How long ago was this? Oh, I think three years ago. Three years he ago. Was there. Okay. Ah, guys, interesting information. The president of Czech Republic came to this chatu. He gave these, the people here, a, a wine opener. Like, it's got an oak, a wooden opener here. And wow, interesting. Did he try any wine here? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't here, but. <laughs> I'm really sure he <laughs> Most does. probably he did. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. He likes us both. Uh -huh. I'm really sure. Yeah. And uh, Bohush was here as well. Aha, uh -huh. Bohush was here. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to have my photo here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bohush Polifka was here. Maybe next to Bohush. Uh -huh. For Slivovica. Bohush is known for. Hmm. <laughs> So Piete, Pane. Červený vín, ale já nevím, jak ten ten názem nevím. Je to dobré? Moc. Moc? Moc. Uh, sladké? No. Není? Já nevím, jak bych to řekl. Tak napůl, no. Napůl? Je moc dobrý, ale. Uh, dobré. Can I have some as well, please? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So all like loads of musicians. Yeah, like loads of musicians and famous people have came here, yeah. actors to this this chatu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. French here as well. Mm -hmm. They have Tachinki here as well. These are the best crisps, by the way. They have bags here as well. I'm gonna get a bag. Defo. Tasty wine. Get one of these. They've got books here as well. Zamek Bautitsa, Chatu Lednitsa, Yizhni Morava, 
Vajit Sir. It's a history book. Nelepshi Vina, so that is like the best wine in Czech Republic. And here as well, they have like some stuff for the fridges, keychain. Right, let's have a look. What colour bag should I get? Hmm. I guess I should get this one. Also, do you know what? It would be good to get a wine for a souvenir, take home something. I should take home some wine. That would be awesome. A small bottle. I'm going to take home one of these. I'll get this one. I'm going to buy this and I will buy this and I'll get myself another drink to try, of course. Yeah, I'm going to buy these two as like souvenirs, right? Yeah. And feel free to check out my YouTube channel if you like. If you have a pen and paper, I can write it down for you. Yeah. So I will get the other wine to taste, please. And I would also purchase these two as well. Palava. I don't know. Proceed. So I'm just going to write down my YouTube channel now. So this video will be uploaded on my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. okay? And I will get these two as well along with this drink. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay by cash, all right? All right. This is the um, Czech Corons, by the way, you guys. What it looks like. Thank you. So this is the Palava wine I'm trying out. He said Palava. Is this wine made in? Uh, this wine is made in Austria. In it's Austria. Liechtenstein wine. It's it's kind of like uh, champagne. It's made in. Uh, in Wilkinsdorf, there is another one, Liechtenstein Castle. Okay. It's in Austria, uh, approximately 30 kilometers from here, um, about 20 kilometers from Wien. So. so it's still in the local region? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Great. So, so it's free, 238. 238? Yes. Awesome. Right, I'll get some, some coins out as well. Can you hold that? On my, on my YouTube channel. With the YouTube channel? Maybe. Maybe. What I'm going to buy now. I've got one glass of wine earlier. And the wine costed how much? 30 grams. 30 grams. And this one costed? The glass? 30 grams. Yes, so the glass cost 50 and the wine 30. And I got myself this bag and this like wine champagne and it costed 230. Okay. Really good price for like a tourist. Okay. Yeah. 230, right? 238. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jo, 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 to, ne, to nevypadá jako kamera. To je, co jsi koupil teda. Aha, so, mám... Taško? Champagne? Austrian champagne? Fancy, right? 
course. Got myself a souvenir from this place. So can I try this? Or oh, you already tried it? And here is the um the location of the place, Zamek Bautitse. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right, it's time to try the time now. That's Javi. That's Javi. Next kiss. Oh, nothing can be palava. Palava yene lepshi. Excuse me. Monsieur? I know. Palava yene lepshi, yo? Yeah, yeah. Yo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Palava, no? I have to try that. Am I a YouTube? Mum YouTube channel. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mum. Can I have a pen and paper? I'll write it down. I'm going to write. I'm going to write it down. If he goes on YouTube and types it, even on Google, my channel will come up and he yeah. can see it. Rosumi to Angliski. Ne rozumi. Ne rozumi. Česky. Česky. On vám to napíše, co někomu můžete říct, mu to tam najde. Sipping on some pearl of a wine here in South Moravia. Mm. This is my favorite wine, the best wine, I must tell you, Palava. Tasty. Study? Seventy years. Seventy from 1971. Wow. And what does each one represent? To je to je to je to je to je to je to to je 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 to to je Dvojku Nikdy jsem to nenosil. I will change batteries and then... Yeah? Grace. Each table here has like a wine. Prepared, waiting, waiting for you to just come and sit down and have a drink. <laughs> oh, it's awesome here, I'm telling you. These look like some medieval medieval windows or something is that right <laughs> wow medieval windows awesome check it out okay darling would you like to get us another drink yes right here's some money okay. you both buy us a drink should i choose then yeah you choose no, I, I chose the first two so you can choose one now What did you choose? Rose. Rose. Rujova. Rujova. Aha. <laughs> we didn't try no red wine yet, did we? Uh huh. <laughs> Too white and now pink. Aha, uh -huh, now pink. So is this just today's choice on the menu, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is there any other wine tasting galleries here within this sure. area? I think here in the next room is another one, uh, but here is like if you pay, I 
think 500 grams for an hour and you can taste as much as, as you much can. as you can yeah <laughs> you can see the chateau. Another one is when you go outside of the chateau. Okay. On the first street, there is another one. Another yeah. one uh, for tasting, but I'm not really sure how it's going there. And then on the main square, I think that there are another, another five or six shops like that. So, oh, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah everywhere. everywhere. So, yeah. We're, in, we're in the right place. <laughs> you are in the right place. Aha. Aha, excuse it. Let me see. Sladka? Není sladka. Ale voní sladce, voní sladce. A je takové osvěžující. How does it smell? Can you smell the fruits? Yeah, it smells sweet, but it's not so sweet how it smells. It smells It's like very refreshing. This one is the most refreshing. Refreshing. Ever. Really? Mm -hmm. Let's try it. It smells, it smells nice. has a nice smell. It smells sweet, but then it's refreshing. It is the coldest, I must say. It's fruity. Mmm. Wow. A bit liter tadi? A bit liter tadi? Aha. Tady jsou skoro všichni jako vinaři a všude se dají takové bit vina, že? Hmm. Ale třeba co slivovice, tady je slivovice koupit? Tady není slivovice. Ale... Jo? Co? To chci říct, už jste to prošli všechno tady ve sklepě se mi... Já to tady znám. No. Jo? Ano, jestli jste tam byli v podzemí. Ani v podzemí jste nebyli. Ano, my jsme teďka před chvilkou přišli. Aha, vy jste před chvilkou přišli. Andře, chodíme do sklepa, pan říkal, že byl i ve sklepě. Mhm. Mm Jo? Tak budeme se nebudíme. Veliký sklepy jsou tady tady. Uuu. Awesome wine gallery here. I must recommend this place. Nice atmosphere. Good wine. Lidi tak... Lidi má na vědu. Mm -hmm. wow. It was really nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Great. Right. I must say thank you for the tour, it was awesome, great information and great service. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a look. What does this say? An exhibition of wines of the wine salon of the Czech Republic. So now we are in like, is this the basement area? Ah, yeah. And here is some, about some history. Yeah, the wine history here. So these are the different types of grapes which they have. Ah, oh, they have Andre! Wow, interesting. For those of you that don't know, my name is Andre and I've come across a strain of grapes that they have here named after me. Awesome. Aha. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Show them the bag. You. Oh yeah. You're wearing the the bag, <laughs> the new bag, the Zamek Baltica bag. Wow. Some information here. So I guess this is the first. This is like from the old times, as you can see, it's 1826. 
Yeah. I don't think I'll drink that wine. I'll probably keep it as a souvenir. What do you think with the bag? <laughs> we can hang it up, like leave it on the wall somewhere as a souvenir. Dobry den. Here's like a map of Moravia as well. No. No, 1627. 1627. A map from 1627. Is it the Yeah. They have it for sale, you think? Wow. They have what is this? Is this like med or is this um, no med? Made no, from jam, jam, jam. Jam. Made from wine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're making our way into the basement now, which they have like a cellar here of the wines. Ooh, look how dusty that is. Whoa. That wine must be so old. I just saw the most dustiest wine bottle ever. It must be so old, yeah. Yeah. They have like they got a chain from a different this is no more. Different like, different, like selections of wines coming from different regions. Yeah, so for example, there's a lot of it's like a different town. Different towns these wines are coming from. Yeah, Slobazko, Mikolov, Morava. Uh huh. Morava here as well. Yeah, Chardonnay. Yeah, it's cold here because they need to keep the wine cool. Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, if you are a wine connoisseur, this is definitely the place to be, to come along in South Moravia to have a try of, of different like, different types of wine. It's, it's a really awesome place here, really nice atmosphere. In, yeah. A pile of a wine. I think they did a degustation and then they sell the bottles if somebody wants to buy them. Look at the roof as well, this place is like... I think we actually like under the chatu. Yeah, we are absolutely underneath the chatu now. It's like a brick basement underground here. This one is the most expensive I saw so far, 599. Uh -huh, 599 and they also have the prices here as well. Do you know what I must tell you? Considering South Moravia is the place to be known for producing the most quality wine, coming here and tasting it and seeing the prices, having a look, it's not so expensive. It's quite a reasonable good price, I must say. Considering like it's so such a yeah. great quality. Considering it's a really good quality. Look at the walls. Whoa. Look at the wall. Like really yeah, like, it's like damp. Look, it's damp. Look. Look, it's damp. I feel like we are actually in the now. Yeah. Yeah. You, I must say these these buildings are historical. They're really old because as he said, these this was not a place for the wine in the beginning it was like a royal family once lived here right and but i think the real people used to have the wine from Bantango. so you feel like this place was a wine wine cellar, cellar for the royal a long time ago yeah and they just preserved it and kept it in good condition oh i'm really i'm really cold as well i'm really cold as well yeah let's make our way out Right, let's make our way out. Look, this is where I saw the most dustiest wine bottles here. It must be really yeah. So dusty. 
Look, these there. are the dusty ones there. Pile of them. Oh, how old are these, you think? Look at that. Look at that bottle. They also have a gents' toilets here in this place. Okay, and this is the front. Do you know what? I'm going to get myself chips for an okay. For an okay, for a scene. I know. Signature? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ranoki. So my chips has arrived now. What did you order? Ranoki or Smajini Sir? Yeah, they might. I know. Okay. Smajini Sir Pulsa. Did you get a shot or did you get? Yeah, sure. Did you okay. open up the bag? Is that like zelenino inside, yeah? Zelenino, yeah. Zelenino. Let's go and put it on the table. Uh-huh. Would you like to squeeze it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mmm. I haven't had it in some long time. How much was that? 55. In a burger? <laughs> That's a really good price. Mm -hmm. mm. That burger. So it's a nice day today. Blue skies. Just sitting here having our lunch. We're at the back of the chateau. Seating area here as well. It's nice. I enjoyed everything so much the wine, the food, everything. Oh, the wine, the food. So, which one was it like your favorite from what we tried? Parlava. Come on. Well, how about you? I would say either the rose or the parlava. Oh, but it was like, like some parlava mixed with something. But it's still, they still like parlava. So, Piesh? Malinovku. Malinovku. <laughs> uh -huh. Right, we enjoyed ourselves, guys. In South Moravia here, in Bautitse, we had a wine tour, wine tasting. We enjoyed having a look around in the surrounding area. Also had some lunch here. It was amazing. We really enjoyed ourselves. I would really come back to this place. Beautiful town. Beautiful town. And I guess we Lovely environment. There is still more. Nice more day. To see. Much more to see here as well. Uh -huh. All right, you guys. Till the next time. See you in the next video. Ciao. Ciao. Mm -hmm. Ciao, ciao.